Welcome to another Ayehu iShare tutorial. Today, we'll learn how to change service logon credentials across your domain using Ayehu iShare in less than five minutes. First, we'll create a new workflow using the Design New Workflow button. We start with reading the list of requested servers from a simple Excel file using the Read Excel action. We'll type in the path of the Excel file right here. Now, you'll notice that this file can be edited at any time. The surface list can be retrieved from a database query, Active Directory query, text file, etc. In order to review the table dynamically, we'll use the get rows count action, which returns the number of rows in a result set. The number of rows will be used in that while action as our counter. Now, here's a key concept in iShare. Each action returns a value which is stored in a variable named right after the action name in that colored bar over there at the top. Each action output can then be used as the input of any following actions. Oh, and that variable name should always be wrapped with a percent sign on either side. We'll do that here using read Excel 1. Now, in order to perform the operations on a list of servers, we'll use the while action over here in the workflow controls section. We'll use the get rows count variable that we just created. Now, it's time to use the get cell value action in order to extract each server name dynamically. This action extracts the value from a table using three parameters, table name, row number, and column number. The table is stored in our read Excel variable. The row number changes with each iteration, so it's being stored in the exit while variable. Oh, and if you're keeping up, you've guessed that the column number is one, since we only have one column in our Excel file. We'll change the name of this action to server name, so it'll be clearer next time we need it. Server name will be used from now on as our device name. We'll use the set service logon credentials action from the services section in order to change the logon credentials of the desired service. We type the service name, for our example here, backup service. Domain name username, password, and the server name which is stored in the variable from the previous action. Finally, you can now run the workflow manually using the Run button or schedule it to run on a regular basis using the Schedule Workflow button. That's it. In less than five minutes, you can create a simple workflow that saves plenty of time and effort. This concludes our demo for changing service logon credentials across your domain. For further information, please visit our website at www.ayehu.com.